patty, y'all. It's one of these days we play these games. And today we got West of Lothian. Why not? And I'm from the West. The West is the best. So let's get ready to do a new game. Pew! I'm wanted for protagonizing. Who do I get to get? I get to enter my name. Oh yeah. Girl switch. <laughs> play. You gonna play as girl switch? Yeah. Why not? I had the strangest dream I was choosing a character class. And that character class was, I guess, this. Cowpunchers solved their problems with their fists, whether it's shaking them in a disagreeable feller in a disreputable saloon or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable feller in a slightly less reputable saloon. You've heard that cow punchers are in demand out west since the cows came home, which stands to reason. The cows aren't going to punch themselves, after all. Yeah, I want to be a cow puncher. Let's go. Well, there's me, girl switch, despite my manly voice. I'm using L to move. Look at this business. In real life, I got to go on diet, but in this game, I'm nice and thin. This weird poster appeared here one night. You read the spine of one of your books, Joe Brown and the Secret of the Old Woods. Dad gave me this when I was a kid. All right. Goodbye phonograph. Nope. Hey, you Russell, how you doing? Caw. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Caw, caw. How about you eat this here cricket? You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Bye, Russell. You be good. In this cage by yourself. I'm starving. I'm gonna play in this here fire. The hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and home. I reckon it does. You're gonna miss mom's cooking. On account of, you know, it's free. I'm gonna hang out in my little brother's room. Hey, man. He made his bed. What you got going on over here? Fire unattended. Free toys. Yeah, I took something out of there. Now it's time to continue on my journey. My quest of loathing, I guess. Here's the family farm, I reckon. On account of it said so. Hey, man, you must be mom. I'm leaving now, mom. Looks like they're gonna miss me, and you got me a present, all right? It's that book you wanted from Krimbo. I know it's early, but let's see. My, 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 my. The one about desert survival? That's my favorite subject. That's the one, enjoy it. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. I will, Mom. Goodbye. Do, 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 do. Well, how you doing, little man? Brother Rufus is standing there looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. I'm going to give you your puzzle back there, Tiger. Bye. It's time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? I'm going west to get off this stupid farm. <laughs> I'm going west to seek my uh, help, people. You read the papers, Rufus. People out west are in trouble. They all need all the help they can get. But it's so dangerous, 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year of for before the cows came home. I'm gonna be okay, kid. Okay, if you say so, I think you'll be dead by the crimbo. I'll miss you too, Rufus. Yeah, okay, bye. How about you, old man? Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. Okay. It's time for me to leave, Dad. What is it? What does dad sound like? 
I want Dad to sound like Peter Cullen. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's brass knuckles. You got item brass knuckles. Thanks, Dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Bye, Dad. Well, all right, I done said bye to everybody. Time to go. See this here arrow on the ground? That means go. Ye. Yeah. Darn, dicker, darn, darn. Look at all these here turnips. By, directed by Jack Johnson. Free bowling ball. Cinematographer. But that was rough. That was a hard job. How about the storyboard artist? Film editor, Kevin Simmons. Look at that horse, man. He ain't a stick horse. Reckon I'm gonna skip the opening credits on account as I can't read good. You just skipped a credit sequence where your character rode a turnip cart across the Great Plains into a sleepy town of Boring Springs. Highlights of the trip included, directed blah 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 blah. You still got me! You still got me! Well, here I am. In the town of Boring something. Ow. That's pointy. Look, a free turnip. That's mine. Hey, man. Hey, you a drunk? Yeah, I guess so. Dora says, gone a drinking. Well, here I am. I'm a girl switch and I'm gonna just walk around town. Why not? Sound effects. <laughs> Gross. As you walk into the saloon, a crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, Dagnabbit? Well, I... Uh, you can't drink in here without a hat. Tank proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. You look through the hat box to find a sturdy-looking Stetson. Hey, I like Stetsons. Looks like something you'd wear. Plus, that's a name brand. You grab the hat and put it on. Uh, thanks. Uh, Pete! Uh, thanks, Pete. Say, gal. Yeah. You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. All right, I'll keep it in mind. Look at it. Yuck. I got this here hat now. I'm a, I'm official. Sherf. <laughs> Spilling. Guess I'm going to go back in here then. Well. How do you use all fellers? You walk over to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to you. While you're waiting, you see a ta sign taped to the back of the wall reading, Reward for Lost Mugs, 25 meat each. Well, howdy, cowgirl. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Girl. What brings you to our little backwater? Oh, the usual. I came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more than people than it has jobs. More of an uh, uh, errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend applying and talking to the, I'm going to start by, by uh, I can't read good. <laughs> I'm going to ask about errands. So you mentioned errands. Yeah, this forsaken burg is always a falling apart one way or another. The hostler's always needing help since he hurt his leg. And that no-account sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cowpoke from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. <laughs> is this Warhammer 40k? Yeah, I can probably handle a goblin. Well, much obliged. I'll unlock the basement for you. Oh, and you'll need this. Weak fungicide. Guess I'll take care of it. Yep. Where is it? Here. Well, I see. I don't feel like attacking the goblin. He looks like he's not hurting nobody. Nose papers. I got a Boring Springs Gazette, April 1895. 
What's this here? Free whiskey. What you got here? Potatoes. Hey, man. I'm going to fight you, all right? I got the jump on you. I got one action point. I'm going to use it. For attacking. Your attacks are less powerful than mine, meaning I'm going to bust you up some. Here you go. Pow. You're weak and dumb. Now you're going to pay. Punch. It's just like the real Old West, man. I'm going to punch you one last time. There you go. Boom. Victory is mine. I gain XP. Well, I guess that's that. I'm going to go up there and get me some payment. Hey, man. How you doing? Took care of your goblin. Well, thank you kindly, girl. I knew there was a stand-up gal the moment you walked in here. Here you go. It's the least I can do by way of thanks. I gained 200 meat. Well, that'll do mighty nicely. Just thought I'd say howdy. Well, then, mission accomplished, I reckon. What you got here, big spit toon? It's the spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking in it, that it's absolutely disgusting. I'm going to look in it. Yep, full of spit. Regular spit. Gross tobacco spit. Chewing gum looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell, even from a distance, it smells horrible. I'm going to look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into what? Into a filth-encrusted spittoon. <laughs> I, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? I'm going to get it. You thought it was something, but it's not. Oh, wait. You reach your hand in toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. Wow. It smells like the vomit trough at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. And you hesitate. Never surrender! You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like glop and your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Yeah, sift around in there. Why not? Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's taurine slowly. Not daring to ask. This risk splashing the contents all over yourself. And you appear to have gotten some kind of a ring. Probably some kind of a disease as well. Congratulations. Uh, I got nasty ring. Hooray. Well. That'll do. Pardon me, miss. I too am a cowboy girl. How you doing? I should probably just let her drink, I guess. All right, then, enough of you. How about you? Hi, I'm girl. Howdy, girl, I'm horse. Like from the Horace her Heresy? I mean, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm the town hostler. Don't know what that is. I sell horses. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? No, these horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming. That's nice. No, I mean, these horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. Is that why you're here drinking instead? Oh, uh, yup. Me and being here and drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. You got any left? I got one. Kind of a boring one, but it's got the four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Well, he vanished. Instantly. Angry woman. I'll be a seeing you. Well, here we are out in the town, walking slowly. Whoa, what are you doing? Hey, you use a hatman? What is this? What? What am I at? Howdy, 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 Braid. What do you trade? Well, madam, today I'm trading the locks for a soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. Huh. No trades now, thanks. And get lost then, whatever! Alright, so what do we got here? Alice MD closed. Well, howdy, mister. You looking like a cactus. Is you is a cactus? You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Well, howdy, self. 
Yeah, the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. Well, what happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and turned me into a cactus. Doc Ellis warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. And that's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, that's just a coincidence. Oh. Does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's kind of nice. The natural fermentation process inside the cactus part of me keep me pretty much drunk most of the time. I guess it's a mite boring. Yeah, I bet. It wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? Actually, I do. Boom, bam, bam. Well, much obliged, partner. Let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, my shovel. I left it behind the outhouse in the ore hole mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Why, thank you, Mr. Cactus. Behind the outhouse at old hole ore, 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 got it, whatever. Don't mention any. You just kind of, you know, stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. I'm going to stick this to you. There you go. Well, this has been an adventure. I already feel like I'm changing the world for the better. I'm kind of loose dirt here. I wonder if that has to do with the shovel. Well, I'm going to walk all feminine-like over here. Get out of the way, drunk. Over here to Al. To this place. Where he said, what's this, a coconut? It's one of them special western desert coconuts. They appear spontaneously at the ground. I know it. I seen them. I got me a chunk of wood right here. Well, I can already see I can't afford to be here, but I'll go ahead and engage in conversation. I forgot what I made you sound like, so I'm just going to start over. Or was it the one? Never mind. Afternoon, man. What can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm a hustling. To tell the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away except for this completely ordinary one. Well, that's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes. Thank you, please. I go fetch it myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat. Each? Wow. For finding them. Yeah, but how many are there? There's three, so that's 900 meat. Do the math. I mean, here, let me see your map. They pretty much run the way to the same places. He draws little pictures on your map. You discovered new map locations. So why these places? I think they like environments that are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, feed him some of these oats. That should send it back here. That's interesting. So how does that work exactly? There's special pigeon infusion <laughs> oats. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> See you later. How you doing? This is the most typical horse I ever seen. He also looks like a refugee from Rocco's Modern Life. Well, I just stepped right in that. Guess I'm gonna look at my map. Whoop! Boring Springs Boneyard, Thousand Snakes Gulch, and Ore Hole Mine. Circa 1890. At least the Civil War is over, that would have been a mess. Especially in this day and age when you can't talk about Civil Wars and whatnot. Where's the outhouse at? I got to go? You're not allowed in Topeka anymore, remember? By the way, some something blah blah blah. Hey Cactus Jack, I mean Bill. Where'd you get Jack from? Gonna walk over here. Get out of the way. Well, howdy, Sheriff. What are we gonna make him say? Well, howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I am the Sheriff in these parts. The what? The Sheriff, okay, blasted sign painters. Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? As a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums out here, or what they call themselves, the, the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took away my cellar door with him. Ain't, oh, well, you know, ain't much good without the door. And? I'd need somebody tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it for me. No, well, why don't you do it? You're the sheriff. I got to stay here and practice my chair tipping. All right, then, I'll give it a shot. Funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you. To keep you out of trouble. 
got me a deputy pistol. You deputized a gun? If you're new in town, maybe you hadn't noticed, but there ain't much here except drink. Here, let me write down the Fricker Gang's hideout is for ya. I'm skipping words because I'm trying to keep up. I got a little note, blah, blah, blah. Fricker Gang's hideout looks like a cave. Got it. I'll be back with your door. Can I go to... Never mind. Well, I've discovered many missions to accomplish. Anyway, I can't go this way. Uh, let's see, I got muscle, mysticality, moxie, maximum HP, 30 speed, stomach, liver, spleen. And I got me a gun. And a nasty ring. What's nasty ring? Get me. Oh, plus one everything. Broken board was a weapon, apparently. Bag of homing oats. So the brass knuckles and the pistol are basically the same. Check out some desert eating and drinking. Gives me the foraging skill. Well then. Time for me to proceed to the old ore hole mine. Well, now this does look adventuresome. Looks like I got me a shovel. What's this? It said something, but I missed it. Oh, wait. Yeah, give me some of that. I gained 50 meat out of the pure meat ore. Free cup. And now it's time to get mining. Looking mighty dangerous in here. Better be careful. Mechanism labored cargo, labeled cargo elevator control, post around the blasting pleasures tools. What do you want to do? I don't know. Three. Bring it to me! I can't pick locks. I don't got the book. Give me that. I got unrefined meat nuggets. There's no plunger hooked up to it. Guess I'm gonna get plungers. I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna press it. If you press the plunger, nothing happens on account of you didn't put in the blasting cap. What are you dumb? Blasting cap storage. I'm a cat. I don't know how bombs work. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna put it. I gotta put it here. Man, come on. Didn't I get one? Maybe not. Grab. Dang it, looks like you're gonna need a crowbar to pry one of these here crates open. Well, that's a... That's a waste. I'm out. I'm gonna need to get back to town, I guess. Well, here we are back in the town of Boring Springs. I'm girl switching. I'm a walking around. Gonna dig a hole with my shovel. I'm gonna shovel it. I got 100 XP out of it. Or one. I don't remember. I didn't really read it. Free experience for doing what you got to do. Bow, bow, bow. Saving the day. One pile of buffalo pucky at a time. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Dig it up. Somebody buried a mug here. I got more than one of these. I'm going to go put it in the bar. Why not? Taking ownership. Greetings, hoss. What you want? I found these here mugs. You want some? Much obliged. Thanks. By the way, who's that angry lady? Well, that's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Well, why is that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. 
Got some pent up frustrations about it. Ouch. Hey man, I'm gonna pester you. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowgirl who's gonna be searching the spittoon for her teeth if she don't leave me in peace. That's not my name, but I'm guessing you don't want to talk. See you later. Just thought I'd say howdy. Bye. Guess I'm gonna need to put this hat back when I get one of my own. That's honesty. What you got to trade? Oh, madam, today I'm trading locks of soap for a dynamite. I already know that! I mean, I already know that. <laughs> it's closed. Man, this is a relaxing type of game. Don't even have to worry about colors of any kind. Well, this has been Switchcat playing another amazing indie title. Tune in next time for another one. Alright.